So if he wins this fight, that's 13 straight UFC welterweight wins, puts him in GOAT status. So Gilbert yeah. Burns goes in there and takes care of the GOAT. Does that make you the GOAT killer? 100% becoming a legend. You know, that's how, that's the only way you're becoming a legend. You're beating those legends. And I beat you already. I beat Danny Maya. I beat Tyron Woodley. Great performance again, both. But I'm looking forward for this one so much because if I beat the guy that it's on the conversation by being one of the greatest, they got to put my name in the conversation, you know. And like you said, me winning that title, not for sure, not passing Kamara, but me winning that title, no one's safe. No one's safe because I, I want, you know, how, how busy I like to be. I love to fight. I love to compete. Next in line, we're going to fight very soon. And the next one, I'm going to keep on going. And then I want to take that status of the GOAT. And I, I want to make sure I'm the real king of the Walter division. So I cannot wait. I'm very excited. Who has the edge? I mean, obviously, you know him. He knows you. But your entire team and coaches know him. Does that give you the advantage? Maybe a little bit because the thing is, when I know him, he knows me. That's 50-50, right? So we know each other's game. But he left. You know, he's not part of the team anymore. So every single one of my teammates know him, very, know him very well. And they give me a lot of different looks. Even looks that I didn't see much from him. They say, oh, he does that good. I say, oh, really? He never did that with me. Yeah, he does this good. He did that a couple of times. So I got a lot of information from my teammates, from the coach. So that uh, technically on my strategy gives me a little edge. But Kamara, bro, he's a champion. He's tough as, as he comes, you know, and then he's ability to adjust. It's, that's why he's the champion, you know, like uh, maybe on the paper gives me a little bit of energy, but we'll see. We're going to find out Saturday night, you know, because I, I'm ready for a war. He's a tough one. He knows how tough I am. And uh, people are saying, oh, we know who's going to win. No, we don't know because I believe I'm going to win. He believes he's going to win. Someone's right. Someone's wrong. Saturday night, we're going to find out who's right, who's wrong. We talked to Dana yesterday, and, you know, he's super psyched that this is a fight you have to watch. This is one you can't miss. Everyone always says, no, this is the fight, this is the fight. But he said, this is the fight. 